Okay, so we're going to use the pieces that we had that we cut out from the packet here, okay? Um, hopefully you still have some of those pieces. Some people like wrote directly on top of them, which is not bad, but when you cut them out and glue them on the paper, then you don't have anything left to trace. So um, I can get you some more of these if you need them. Um, we just need to talk. Um, I've cut out the pieces that I want to do. And so I'm doing um, the same thing that I had talked about here. And I made like lots of different examples. And so there were some things that I liked and some things that I didn't like out of the eight of them that I made, right? Um, I really liked how this one went where it had the two words in there. Um, I like the banner up at the top. Um, I liked how this kindness got bigger okay, as it went through and I liked it to like being on this side. Um, and then I decided I wanted this to be flat because this one was flat. So I wanted to have them kind of match up. So um, this is just a piece of printer paper, but we are attempting to make like a, um, a, the rough draft before our final, okay? And so I have some marks up here and I'm gonna draw myself a line down the middle of this to practice doing it. Um, to me, this paper is more than eight and a half. Um, so, I mean, I, I divided it in half, which was four and a quarter plus like another 16th, okay? Um, so I did that and then I drew a line here. And I don't know, I mean, if you can, can you see this on the board? Yeah, it should be as faint as you can possibly draw it, okay? As light as possible because you want to be able to erase it later, okay? And we are going to be erasing our boxes later. So I'm going to put these back on so I can trace them, um, but I am tracing them with the idea that I want them to eventually be gone. Okay, so I'm going to position them, kind of think about it. Um, think about how much space I have down here and up here. Um, you can eyeball it, you can measure it, but it's, I think it's nice to be able to move these around. So let's look. This is like two inches. This is two and a half. I might move this down a little. See if I can give myself like two and a quarter on all of this. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna hold them down and make sure that they're centered on that line. And then again, the goal is to get this as light as you possibly can, okay? You want to be able to erase this. You're not trying to engrave the paper by like making it so dark. Okay, so there's one, which, can you see that up there? A little bit. Okay, I'm missing just a little section right there. And then I flipped this one over because it's it's like a the wrong side for what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to trace it this direction. Okay, and for some people, drawing this light is really hard. I mean, I'm like holding my pencil like this as opposed to like this. Um, trying to like just guide it and get that lightly, lightly traced on. Now the banners are the only thing that you're going to see. Those are probably going to be kept um, as part of the decoration. So everything else will get erased. Missing right here. Okay. 
Okay, so then same thing, I'm gonna do my little like curves here to see those. Okay, so there's my really, really light like map out of what I want to do. And this is good to practice. You should be able to erase this and not have anything left underneath there that you see. Okay, so that is the goal um, for that. Now, these are the ones, these are the fonts that I kind of picked out that I liked. I went with um, two things that were a little fancier. Um, and two things that were a little more like simplified, okay? I think I would stick with, I mean, depending on how big your font or how big your quote is with three things, okay? And so I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna think about um, mapping these out, and this is helping me at least spell them correctly. Um, I went ahead and did like some of you guys did and put the actual words into the fonts, but it is nice that I can go through and find what I had, okay? So with throw, I'm gonna divide this. Um, if you look at these fonts, I don't think this, or these little layouts, I don't think I really talked about what this half point like was. Um, and this point, this dotted line could get moved, um, but it is to create unity with the font by, um, like if you had an uppercase or a lowercase having all of these like be at the same point. So the tops would go all the way up to the top and then these places would all be right at the middle level. Does that make sense? Like how you would draw those. Um, so really like on this around and alike, like I only have a couple of things that stick up. Okay, the rest of them are all staying um like underneath this part okay but it's very possible that i could raise this and have this be like my my line okay so there will probably be some things that we'll fix on this one um when you get back so then we can start our final one okay so this will be like looking at this together even looking at it with other classmates and fixing some of these things. This isn't gonna be perfect either because this is still like a, a rough draft, okay? But that's kind of how those, those go. I'm gonna divide this into sections. Um, and really as lightly as I can. Um, and I don't even need like the whole line necessarily. I just need to know like where I'm start, starting and where I'm stopping. Okay, and then I can use this as a reference on like what I want this to look like. Um, the banner's a little different, um, but I am gonna go ahead and draw a line in here just like this one, um, which you can see it curves because it follows the curve right here. So I'm going to, this one's pretty close to like right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to help me like draw this font. You can see the T is a little like angled. All of these edges are round, okay? And it's not like a huge, a huge thing. Even like this W is a little different, okay? But all those little things make it the font that it is, okay? Um, so let's, let's look at this. So this part goes down. Sometimes I go ahead and just draw the whole thing because I know this part um, is going to um, extend all the way down. So I'll just erase. I would rather just erase sections um, to make sure that they're like even. Okay. Um, I might need to, I mean, the way that I've divided this, you you don't have to do what's exactly here. Um, this little section probably takes up less than like the H. Um, how I've drawn it, everything's even or attempting to be even. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna round out my like eight. I'm trying to keep them the same. Is that angle? No. But it is rounded on the edge. Okay, and then really this goes down the same with this one, so this one should be even. And they're, they're kind of squared, but round on that edge. Okay, let me see if I can go a little faster. I'm gonna do this top part up to right here. And gosh, it, it's it's hard to say. Am I too far over this way and not enough over the other direction? Some of this, you just have to like get it down and just see how it goes. Um, this one is a complete circle, like just 100% round. Okay, and then we'll look at the W. I'm gonna keep it underneath this little mark. Um, it's flat or rounded on the bottom. Maybe a little too wide. Uh huh. So I'm going to go back this direction, kind of do the same thing. I don't know that I have maybe enough room right there. So it's just, I mean, little by little tweaking um, what you have. And it's like this might be too far over. And then sometimes just working from both directions um, kind of helps like even some of this stuff out. Okay, so that'll work at least for right now. Um, so I've got the top parts all lined up on those. Um, these are about the same. If this was another box, I would go probably all the way up to that top. Um, so I'm gonna do um, kindness real quick. We'll see if I can do this fast. Where is that one? Okay, well, it is lost. This one goes just through the center, like for each one here. Um, and this font is all caps, at least what I picked. And so I can kind of look and see the center of, of what these would be. Okay, um, so I'm gonna draw myself like a curve here, and then I'm going to divide this into eight um, and I'm just going to lightly mark these and make them all the same, okay? Um, pretty close. Okay, so then um, I do like this extra part on this K that I'm going to use, but I'm going to go all the way up to the top of this. Um, and I can kind of think of the same thing down here and bring these like together. Okay, you can always erase um, the part that's extra. And then I'm gonna do my K, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop right here. Um, so I'm gonna do like a section that's rounded and then this is in the middle. So I'm gonna bring that down like to the middle of this. And then this one's going to go down. It is going to go underneath, okay? And I'm going to have to think about, because I didn't think about that with this, um, is getting that section um, 
like squeezing it in between. Okay, so I'm gonna get 